On a mountain top in South Armagh, there's a 5,000-year-old fixer-upper that needs a bit of TLC. Buffeted by the wind and the wear and tear of hillwalkers, access to the Steve Gullion Passage Tomb has been reduced in recent years. Has everybody signed in for me? That's why around 30 volunteers gathered at Gullion at the weekend. They climbed for 45 minutes to reach the summit and start the repair work. They set up a chain gang to relocate stones that were blocking the entrance. Within an hour, they had cleared the path leading into what is Ireland's highest passage tomb. It's quite heavy now. All the work done under the careful eye of an archaeologist. This is a stake care site and it's one of 190 that are in the country. It just removes some of the stones, letting people have a bit of access and also um, kind of try to preserve the um, uh, structure above us, stop it from eroding any further. As you can tell from the burial cairn, this mountain has had huge significance in this locality for thousands of years. It's also been linked to some of our most famous fables. Some of the stories of Finn McCool and Cúhollin are said to have unfolded on the slopes of Sleeve Gullion. Oh, that's some difference Woo! in there. It's time for a break, and what better place for lunch than inside the passage grave and out of the wind. The ancients lined it up so that the evening sun of the winter solstice creeps up the passage to illuminate the chamber every year. Today's one was special for me and special for a lot of the community around here because this is uh, like a gem in the crown of the Ring of Gullion uh, and have such an historic monument here right on our doorstep uh, is absolutely phenomenal and we, we actually have a winter solstice every year around uh, the passage tomb as well to celebrate um, this fantastic site. And it's a site that's attracting more and more visitors. Around 20,000 people a year now climb Steve Gullion. That's why this kind of work is so vital in maintaining it. Conor McCauley, BBC Newsline.